Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Letman. Before we get going with today's video, you know a lot of you could use a little extra income right now. So if you'd like, in the video description below, we have a link where you can click to sign up for Instacart. If you need some extra money, that's a great way to earn some right now. Check it out in the video description below. Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub, everybody. Jacob Letman here. More videos coming to you about all the things that are going on with the craziness, sickness spreading across the country, across the world, and uh, we're just trying to keep you updated on all the information that we have in all the ways that we possibly can. So thanks for being here with us. Hope you're taking stuff away from our videos. Really very sorry um, about our rideshare drivers out there that have been severely impacted by this, especially financially. And uh, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about so many Uber drivers that are quitting driving nationwide and uh, why that is and what they're doing and what can you do, you know? So Uber drivers are quitting nationwide pretty rapidly. Uber released some statements saying that in their biggest cities, uh, ride requests are down 70%. So even if you're if you're full-time, or if you were a full-time rideshare driver, that's probably not gonna happen anymore. Um, if you were a part-time rideshare driver like me, like even 20 hours a week, boy, our, my girlfriend, she drives, she waited two hours for a ride request to come in yesterday, came in on Lyft, and uh, that's how dead things are here. Restaurants are closed, bars are closed, uh, sporting events are done, schools are closed, business professional, professionals are staying home, um, not traveling for business, a lot of people not traveling at all, so airport traffic is down, um, so everything's just down. Uh, there are California governor issued state of emergency ordered everyone to 40 million Americans to stay inside um, they're giving out penalties to people who are are breaking the the law right now the law the the rules um, are giving out tickets to people that are defying that so things are weird out there right now to say the very least and so Drivers that have, oh, well, okay, let's back this up. So why are drivers quitting? Well, first of all, you're not making any money because ride requests aren't there. Um, second of all, you're taking your, your life, your hands, your life, your hands, you're taking your life into your own hands um, by giving rides and continuing to drive out there because the people that we come into contact with, we don't know if they're carriers or not. Um, and if you're someone that has, you know, that is an older adult or has complications with your lungs or, or heart or I think diabetes they said is some people who are uh, susceptible you're definitely staying away from driving um, and you know a lot of people yeah it's just scary it's scary times out there I'm worried about the sickness the money's not really there so drivers are quitting driving and what's interesting is we're going to see a lot of or this is what's expected anyway, we're gonna see a lot of drivers that have been driving for a long time doing this as a, a steady, reliable income, and now it's just like whew, the carpet was pulled out from underneath us, and those drivers right away recognize that things aren't going to look at very well uh, for quite a while, and so they're looking for new jobs. A lot of them are transitioning into driving for food delivery apps or getting part-time work elsewhere or trying to get full-time work elsewhere, getting out of the driving or the gig industry um, in general. And what we're gonna see in the next few weeks, months, we're gonna see people who are laid off, restaurant workers, people who work in bars, um, other so many other businesses where people get laid off without benefits um, without being paid without the workers comp um, paid time off stuff like that who are going to be desperate to make money that are going to be signing up for rideshare driving because they think that they can at least make something and the fact of the matter is, even when they do that, they're gonna have a rude awakening to find out that there aren't a lot of rides out there. Now, if you need 
something that's part-time, part-time, that'll bring in any sort of income, that'll work. You know, that's something at least you can, you're going to be doing a lot of sitting around. Um, there's going to be a lot of people that never experienced rideshare driving when it was, I guess, in its prime. If it, <laughs> It's sad to say. Rideshare driving in general already was so iffy. There were so many things, so many pros and cons to it, right? You guys all know, your drivers out there, so many costs associated with it, putting so many miles on our vehicles, running them down, the pay always be um, uh, the, the pay scale or the way that they determine how we're paid, always changing, the bonus structures always changing. Um, and now all oh, that's moot point. It's like, oh, that, that doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna see a lot of people signing up. Anyway, we'll probably see an influx of drivers sign up just so they can cash in on that. But it might be hard to even hit those numbers Honestly, it's so slow out. It is unreal, you guys, and I'm sure you can relate. So uh, let's see, what else do we got? So anyway, if we weren't sure rideshare driving was a reliable source of income before, and for a lot of drivers, it's you know it was a gamble, it's tough, there's highs and lows to it, but now, now especially, it's like, well, dang, this probably is not the industry to be in. So. Anyway, those things are the reasons why we're seeing such an influx in Uber drivers quitting nationwide. And my personal recommendation is, if you have another skill set and you have an opportunity to pick up any kind of work anywhere else, do it now because projections aren't looking great for rideshare driving for the next several months. That's what I got for you guys. If Hey, if you are a driver, that's uh, either still driving or decided to quit and do something else, pursue something else, let us know your story. Get down into the comment section below. Get at us. Let us know where you're at, what's going on in your world, and how this is affecting you. I'm Jacob Letman. This is the Rideshare Hub. Thanks for being here, you guys. And please, until the next time, take care of yourselves and stay safe out there.